The most straightforward and potentially most lucrative way to monetize a blog is by selling a product. This can be a physical product or a digital product. If you have an existing business selling physical products and you're building a blog to market them, then you're good to go. That's a really smart strategy and the biggest companies in the world are finally beginning to use content marketing to their advantage. So you are in very good company. If you're just a blogger looking to create a revenue stream, Digital information products may be a good choice. This internet thing has shaken up a lot of industries, and education's one of them. We're no longer totally reliant on colleges and universities to learn new skills, professional or otherwise. There's a huge, growing industry of specialized online education, and you're taking an online course right now, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you have knowledge that other people want to attain, you can be part of this revolution. It's never been easier to self-publish an ebook on the Amazon Kindle store or even a physical book with something like CreateSpace. Same thing with video courses. If you have the chops and if you're willing to put in the work, your courses can find a home on platforms like Udemy or Skillshare, or you can even sell them on your own website using a WordPress plugin like CoursePress. Information products are quite possibly your best opportunity to build a business around your blog. Depending on your industry and your skill set, there are other digital products you could offer as well, including software as a service, mobile apps, website templates, WordPress themes, things of that nature. Whatever it is, just make sure it's something that your audience actually wants and that adds some kind of value to their lives. No amount of marketing can fix a bad product, so make sure you create something you can be proud of. The simple blueprint for selling a product looks like this. Write epic content. Get people to opt into your list with valuable lead magnets. Send them free exclusive content that blows their minds because it's so good. And then eventually ask for the sale using all the free value you've given them as leverage. Membership sites are another popular revenue model that has the potential to bring in recurring and ever increasing income for you. A membership site could offer a catalog of courses or an exclusive community or something like that, and people pay on a monthly or annual basis for access. I think membership sites can be a great opportunity, but they're a difficult sell. There are so many membership sites out there, and it begs the question, does the world really need another membership site? If you want to be successful with this model, you have to focus on providing some kind of unique value prop to differentiate yourself. And it may require more upfront work than something like an information product. If you're offering a catalog of courses, for example, you have to first produce those multiple courses. And if you're offering a community, you have to seed the community and get some real engagement started as soon as possible. Nobody wants to join a ghost town community, especially if they have to pay for it. But if you're up to the challenge and feel you can bring unique value to the table, I say go for it. You can use plugins like Membership by WPMU Dev or MemberPress to get the job done. The sales process is very much like selling a product. You publish epic content, funnel people into your list with free resources, provide value, and then say, hey, if you want to dive deeper, here's a membership where you can get X, Y, and Z. We live in a world based on systems where everything has to be scalable and everybody's obsessed with so-called passive income. But the fact is, selling services and doing unscalable things can be the quickest route to profitability for your blog. The reason is simple. Client service businesses have very little overhead and require no upfront investment. You basically just say you're in business, land your first client, and start working. And building a service business on top of a blog is a really smart move because your blog showcases your expertise and proves that you're the right person for the job. You can offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, business consulting, graphic design, photography, or any other service that you have the skills to provide. By the way, a lot of people who offer services are afraid of giving away too much with their content. They don't want to reveal their secret sauce or whatever because they figure people will just do it themselves. I say don't worry about that. Give away everything you know for the DIY crowd, and plenty of people will still be willing to hire you to do it for them or hold their hand through the process. Ultimately, the more free information you put out, the more leverage you have. The phrase affiliate marketing has kind of become synonymous with the sleazy internet marketing guys who withdraw their life savings at Benjamin's, take an Instagram pic, and put it all back in the bank. You know the ones I'm talking about. But it doesn't have to be that way. 
Affiliate marketing with the proper disclosure and transparency can be an honest, lucrative way to simultaneously provide value to your audience and build a business around your content. Instead of creating your own product, you promote somebody else's product and earn a commission when members of your audience buy it. Simple enough, right? The best way to implement affiliate marketing as a business model is this. Find out which of the tools and services you use on a regular basis have affiliate programs and sign up. Then, as you're writing new content, particularly tutorials and how-to guides, recommend the necessary tools and products along the way, just like you would anyway, but link to them using your affiliate link. That way, when people follow your tutorial and purchase those products, you get paid. Be careful what you promote, though. Never promote anything that you wouldn't use yourself just because it offers a nice commission. It has to solve a real problem for people, and if it doesn't, they're going to remember you as the person who wasted their money. So only promote products you can personally vouch for. By the way, it's important for both ethical and legal reasons to disclose to your audience that you earn a commission if they buy. So be sure to include that as well. Advertising is probably the most popular revenue model in the blogging world because it's the easiest to get started with. But that doesn't mean it's the best. In fact, it's not. <laughs> Things have changed a lot over the years, and the fact is, advertising doesn't pay as well as it used to. And in almost all cases, it negatively impacts the user experience, and it sends people away from your site. With that said, I know it's just about the only option for some topics like news or politics or celebrities, things like that, and it can generate revenue for you. There are two models of advertising for bloggers, direct and indirect. Direct advertising is where you sell placement directly to a company, and indirect advertising is where you use a middleman like Google AdSense or some other ad network. Indirect advertising is a lot easier to get set up with because you basically just sign up with an ad network, copy some code onto your site, and forget about it. Direct advertising is more difficult, but it has the potential to bring in a lot more money. If you want to use an ad network, Google AdSense is obviously the most popular option, but it doesn't hurt to experiment with other platforms. I've had great results with Adversal and Media.net, both of which are display networks just like AdSense. You can also look into content recommendation, aka native ad networks like Rev Content and Outbrain. Direct ad sales can be a lot more profitable because you're working with brands directly with no middleman. To make it work, the first thing you'll want to do is put together a comprehensive advertising page on your site where interested companies can see your traffic stats, sponsorship options, and how to contact you. However, unless you have a lot of traffic, most of your sales won't come from people reaching out to you. You'll have to put on your hustle hat and start cold calling or emailing businesses whose target market matches your audience. This is where you have to stop thinking about advertising as a way to monetize your blog and start thinking about it as you helping a company reach its marketing goals. If you can make that mindset shift, you'll have a lot more success with advertising and sponsorships. If sales isn't your thing, you might think about hiring a commission-based sales manager to sell your ad inventory, but I highly recommend you do it yourself at least a few times so you can learn what works and what doesn't and who your ideal sponsors are. 